Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, All Simply Done here. I hope you're well, and in today's video, we are unpacking and putting together La Hacienda uh, Wildfire Fire Pit with a cooking grill on the very top. It is a round fire pit, which the width is 61 centimeters and the height is 61 centimeters as well, which the size is substantial for cooking and keeping you nice and warm in the cold uh, evenings. We have uh, bought this in a local uh, garden center shop online and it was delivered to our house during the lockdown restrictions and um, the uh, fire pits as you know they are designed to use outdoors only for safety and uh, we have paid for that uh, 100 pounds but uh, I have to say even on eBay that we were struggling to find quite similar size in the nice lovely features as this one has right I've already put together this fire pit which uh, uh, I will be going through all the steps uh, during the video but as you can see the main part of the fire pit was in one chunky piece and only the legs and the mesh lid and other bits inside when needed to be assembled so it is quite straightforward as you can see on uh, video now it is a black steel protective mesh lid it's a black high temperature paint finish all around and it's made from a pressed steel uh, what I've been reading on the instructions and also it features a bronze coloring it's the ideal centerpiece for a patios and a back gardens and it comes as well with a steel uh, log grate and a safety tool as you can see there in a very close up view, the mesh lid handle is attached to a mesh lid using just one knot. And I'll just put that aside in a second. There we are. So that's ideal for stopping the sparkles to fly away when it's a little bit windy, when you've got quite a few logs uh, on the log grate at the very bottom, isn't it? Here we are. And I've got some nice uh, dry uh, kelk as well, kiln as you can see, sorry. And that will be perfect for uh, starting up the fire because it's very thin and it's very dry. Well, if you would be struggling to start up the fire, you can still use some fire lighters, uh, which uh, you can easily get in a little uh, cubes, in a squares and just put one or two around and that would be easily fire started and no problems whatsoever righty ho right now on the video I'm showing uh, support brackets which is uh, four of them and on those four support brackets uh, it rests a cooking grill as I'm just showing right now so every support bracket it's secured um, to upper ring of the fire pit using one small bolt from the outside of the fire pit and securing it inside using just a one nut. So it is quite easy as well. There right now is this uh, a utensil which is easily um, well. You can actually use it for both uh, both. Uh, options really you can actually take the cooking grill out and lift it up uh, when it's obviously hot uh, take great precautions or even actually you can use that uh, uh, utensil for trying to get um, logs burn evenly a deep bowl with a flame design the wildfire is perfect for outdoor cooking and entertaining its substantial size of this uh, model means that you can really create a wildfire effect keeping your family warm and cozy when the temperature drops outside it's a full circular 
chrome plated cooking grill enables you to cook up an al fresco feast and in a no time as well there are two handles which were already attached to the main part of the fire pit so those are obviously designed for uh, lifting uh, the whole fire pit from place to place and also as you can see the uh, wildfire effect which is clearly visible around the whole fire pit it's really great uh, addition to this wildfire fire pit designed by La Hacienda Three of those legs would be easily attached to the main part of the fire pits using a pre-attached thread which would be fed through a holes at the base of the fire pit and securing each thread with one washer and one nut. And another thing to remember when you're securing the support bracket to keep the cooking grill um, you need to uh, secure the um, brackets to the upper ring of the fire pit using one small bolt from the outside and securing it inside using one nut and that is it and then the fuel grate and then cooking grill and the mesh lid and you finished and then you're ready to start cooking so I have to say the assembly instructions were really easy and straightforward and it shouldn't take you longer than I would say 10 minutes. And when the old hard work paid off, when it's dark or getting dark outside, or when it's dusk, you just put the fire pit on, put few logs, and enjoy the warmth of a natural flame, natural fire, and it does look stunning. And also, if you fancy, you can actually cook something as well. You can actually cook some marshmallows or, or even some nice meat, some sausages. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. Give us a like. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye now.